So the next test that we're going to be doing is a catalase test. Yeah. And we can follow up with an agglutination test. So my The University of Medicine and Health Sciences is modeled after the best U.S. medical schools. We expect our students to leave the basic sciences and move into the clinical program fully versed, absolutely the equivalent, if not better, than the students that are coming from U.S. medical colleges. There is one important difference between U.S. medical schools and UMHS. Here, there are three semesters every year, with a new class of students arriving every semester. The first four semesters on St. Kitts provide a thorough knowledge of basic biomedical sciences. Students are introduced to history taking, physical examination skills, and problem solving techniques. Traditional basic science courses are offered, including anatomy, histology, biochemistry, physiology, behavioral science, pharmacology, molecular biology, pathology, neuroscience, microbiology, and introduction to clinical medicine. Clinical material is introduced throughout the basic science program starting in the first semester. During introduction to clinical medicine, students fully utilize the 24-bed, state-of-the-art human simulation laboratory. They also take shelf examinations developed by the National Board of Medical Examiners. They are similar in style and content to the questions offered in Step 1 of the USMLE. Students benefit from a detailed analysis of each exam. It also provides data on how the student performed compared to a national level. UMHS also offers an extended basic science program. Called EBS, it covers the same curriculum over five semesters, but at the same cost as the four semester program. Very few schools offer this option. EBS students take courses together with those in the accelerated four semester program. Not only are EBS students part of the mainstream, we find that this helps them excel academically. What we wanted to do was to arrange for students who wanted to spend a little bit more time so that they could fully absorb the material to have a curriculum that would extend that over an additional semester. There's a direct correlation between how students perform on USMLE and their performance in the basic science program. Students in EBS are better able to master the information and consequently perform exceptionally well on step one of the USMLE. The fifth semester takes place in the United States. Here we have something that might be um, a little pathologic. Um, this is actually something that we see in anemia Continuing their coursework in and around Portland, Maine, students cover an introduction to clinical medicine with hands-on experience at nearby healthcare centers. Here too, UMHS students benefit from personal attention, working alongside practicing physicians, mentors called preceptors. From the time I get here in the morning to the time I leave one-on-one -on -one with a medical student, you know, whatever I do is what they're doing. In Maine, students also prepare for the U.S. Medical Licensing Exam Step 1 with the support of Kaplan Medical. For clinical rotations during semesters 6 through 10, UMHS has affiliations with leading teaching hospitals throughout the United States, Puerto Rico, and Canada. During their clinical rotations, students are also preparing for USMLE Step 2. Once they have passed steps one and two of the USMLE and graduated from UMHS, they are ready to move on to residencies in the United States. I matched in surgery and I, I have to thank St. Kitts, I have to thank UMHS to give me the opportunity and the groundwork to get me into a competitive field. My experience with the professors and my classmates, uh, it was just exactly what I needed to succeed in medical school. And my clinical experiences prove that even further by doing well with each of those. 